We begin this half hour with a controversy over dead trees, millions of them. They were killed last summer by the so-called Rim Fire, the third worst wildfire in California history. The blaze blackened more than 400 square miles, an area the size of New York City and seven times bigger than Washington, D.C. It raged for weeks near Yosemite National Forest and sparked a fiery debate over what to do. Brandon Scott reports. The monstrous Rim Fire first ignited in the Stanislaw National Forest last summer. And while it didn't claim any lives, it did leave behind a forest full of victims. Does it hit you a little bit to, to see this massive devastation? It does. I mean, we love this place. And when you see the magnitude of this fire, it's really, really hard to believe. Forest supervisor Susan Skalski still can't fully grasp the destruction. 30,000 acres of trees so badly burned that the U.S. Forest Service says they need to come down. In some places we have at most the stems of trees standing. The reason why we don't want to leave all the dead trees on the landscape is that it's just providing that fuel load for a future fire. So the Forest Service has proposed to take out the trees in a process called salvage logging, where dead trunks are cut down and the lumber is sold for profit. It's already happening on nearby private land. Even though this wood is charred and completely black, timber companies see nothing but green. That's because salvaged wood is still valuable. In fact, this site alone provides enough lumber each day to build two American homes. Salvage logging in the National Forest could raise hundreds of millions of dollars. So earlier this month, the House of Representatives passed a bill to waive federal environmental laws and speed up the process. Representative Tom McClintock introduced the bill. His district includes the Stanislaw National Forest. If we're able to salvage that timber now, that means millions of dollars to the federal treasury that can then be used to replant and reforest the 400 square miles that was destroyed by the Rim Fire. But saving the forest by cutting down trees doesn't make sense to more than 200 scientists who sent a letter to Congress calling for the bill's defeat. And we need to do just the opposite of what this bill intends to do by protecting these rare habitat types for the wildlife that needs them. Justin Augustine works for the Center for Biological Diversity, a nonprofit that believes these dead trees are essential to the forest ecosystem and provide a habitat for deer, insects, and birds like the rare black-backed woodpecker. The woodpeckers eat beetles that feed off of burned trees. For now, salvage logging in the Rim Fire burn area is only happening on private land. Before it can spread into the national forest, the bill needs the Senate's approval and the president's signature. Still, no matter what happens, the Stanislaw will never be the same. Once the whole tree is totally brown, it's, you know, it's, it's gone. It's not coming back. And it will take generations for this brown forest to grow green again. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Brandon Scott in the Stanislaw National Forest.